this going to be a, kind of like a proving ground for some of the young players? I don't know about a proving ground, but uh, I am excited to get another opportunity to hook it up. Um, and we don't get many opportunities to play. So much of college coaching is the off season. I'm excited that our guys, especially our young guys, get another opportunity to play. Um, it's going to be Josh's first time in the postseason in his career. Ticket has played in one NCAA tournament, um, and this will be his second postseason. So I'm, ex I'm really excited for our young guys to get to play a ton of minutes. So guys like Galway and Rich Barron, more opportunities. Rich is not going to play. Uh, Rich sustained an injury the last game. Uh, he's, he'll, he'll be out, but um, Galway's going to play a ton. Yeah, guys like Corey. Like ton of minutes. Play yeah, they'll play a lot of minutes. Is that kind of proving ground for the future in the program? Um, an opportunity for them to play, yeah. you know, to play and keep getting better. Is Rich out for the whole tournament or just BC? Uh, right now he's out for this game and it will continue to be evaluated. How about Devin? Uh, we're thinking about holding out, out uh, Devin. He hurt his ankle and he's just nursing a lot of other nicks and bruises the last few weeks, so we're going to hold him out. Um, go ahead. Opportunity. Well, just want to protect him right now. You know, he's not well, he's not healthy, so just, just want to protect him right now. What was the overall reception of the guys, I guess, just in playing in the tournament? Um, they're excited to play. You know, basketball players like to play. Um, you know, I wish, you know, it was a rule in football where, you know, red shirts get to play in bowl games if it's up to far. I would love that rule to be in basketball. I'd love for Eli DeLaurier and uh, Anton Bonk get to, to play in this game. But, um, you know, it's different. I guess Anton's a little different. But Eli is, a, you, you know, a guy who, who, who would be great if he could play. Kim, is there something you guys can carry over from this tournament to next year? Yeah, I think so. You know, I look at Wisconsin last season participating, going far in the, uh, the NIT and then going, coming into this season with some – you know, some experience and, and, and doing well. You know, I think so. I think it's great for these guys to experience postseason basketball um, and just more reps and more time to play. I'm, I'm especially really looking at, at Jaden Pierre. Um, now, I wish we had Rich. I, I think it would have been great for him. And just as far as the play of your young guys last week, it seemed like Corey Garway and Jaden all had a pretty good tournament. Yeah, I thought Corey outside of the Butler game and maybe the Georgia game and one of his best games. Best, you know, multiple games of the season. Um, you know, Corey's such a great kid. Um, he wants to do well. I um, mean, he had a rough season at points, but was really happy to see him um, have some success on the court. Jim, what's the balance right now? You know, today the portal opened, and you guys are getting ready for a game as a staff. How do you kind of balancing the one-day turnaround prep and you know, obviously trying to maybe plan for the future? Yeah, we're the, we have a pretty big staff. Obviously, we're monitoring portal entries, but our, you know, our focus is on this game. You know, that's. That's what's in, in, in front of us now. Um, you know, we'll, we'll watch film, we'll practice, we'll have dinner, we'll get ready, we'll shoot around tomorrow, we'll, we'll play a game. Recruiting never stops in college basketball, so we recruit all season long. Um, not much different than right now. Portal opening today, a lot of people say they'd rather it be after the national championship. What's your, what's your take on that? I don't. I mean, it, it, again, it's it's – we just have to take what, you know, is given to us. You know, so we, um, you know, have to adapt and adjust and, you know, make it work as best we can. Anything you can take away if you want to forget so Coach Grant when you were a Mason? Anything you can take away from that game? Or yeah, they play well. They play well. They made a lot of tough mids. Um, a different team. Um, you know, obviously a different team. But um, Quentin Post is an NBA big. He rebounds it, shoots it. Uh, score is inside. Uh, Jaden Zachary is a very talented guard that plays really hard. They added some shooting. Uh, Mason Madsen, um, a really good team. Earl has gotten better each year at BC. More wins, declining in losses. Um, uh, they won four out of their last five. Um, I, I think he's done a great job there. You guys talked about mindset all season. So what's the kind of overall mindset going on? Yeah, you know, it's to uh, it's it's obviously it's a little uh, deflating, you know, to you know to know your your fate is sealed. Last night, you know, you gave a few hours to, you know, uh, you know, complain. Just like after a loss, you let it hurt till midnight, and, and now it's time to move on. Um, 
Yeah, because the most important thing is which team is going to come out tomorrow and want to be there. Our guys really, really want to be there. Uh, we're going to play really hard. Um, and, and, and that's what's most important. It's an opportunity. It's a privilege. It's a privilege to play basketball. It's a privilege uh, to be at Providence College, to, to play on on Dave Gavitt Court. Um, and our guys are excited about the opportunity. We'll, we'll give you the opportunity. There's so much, you know, tell the fans about and everything. And uh, you know, it could be the last time they see this group this year, maybe. Say it again. You know, tell the fans, obviously, to come out and support. You're telling me to tell the no. fans? I think that. <laughs> Yeah, I, I think our fans, uh, I've not had to tell our fans anything this season. They're the best. Um, I'm, ex I'm excited to see the crowd we have tomorrow night. Um, our fans haven't let us down an iota of a time this season. And just, just grand scheme, how do you see the future of maybe non-NCAA events, whether it's the NIT, CBI, given that the portal opens today? And I don't think a lot of coaches are focused on rosters. Yeah, that's not my focus. You know, uh, my focus is uh, having us be in the NCAA tournament uh, in the future. And um, kind of stops there. You wish you had the opportunity. We, we asked you yesterday about the NCAAs, but Josh and Ticket to get serious minutes in the NCAA tournament. How do you feel for them? No. Yeah, it would have been great. You know, disappointed, you know, for those guys. But, you know, we have to move on. You know, it, the, the lesson is stay off the bubble. Um, do what you need to do early in the season so you, you don't allow things like Saturday nights, you know, bid steals and stuff to affect you. Because once you get down in the bubble, it's all pretty um, whatever they say. <laughs> you know, so you just, you, you, the lesson is you, 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 you kill what you eat. You know, you eat what you kill. You need to take care of your business earlier in the season uh, or later in the season, you know. Um, no, we're not, not. No one's feeling sorry for us. We're not feeling sorry for ourselves. Um, you know, it's it's up to us as coaches to get our players to play better offense. Um, you know, and to uh, win meaningful games earlier in the season and win games by larger mar margins. Kim, with them potentially down two starters for tomorrow night, uh, how the, what do you see to the other guys that it's just an added? That's oh, such a great opportunity, like, and no, no different than we've had all season. You know, we've missed Bryce for a ton of games. We've missed Devin for a game. Um, you know, we missed Josh for a game, a big game, a league game, a huge game. Um, so it's, it's nothing different. We've always tried to rally our guys to rely on each other more, to put m more of an onus on our defense, more of an onus on our transition attack, more of an onus on our ball security. Um, it's just a great opportunity, you know, and, and it's also a great one because every player always wants to play more. They always complain about playing time. Well, here you go, you know. Let, 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 let's see what you'll, you're going to do with extended minutes. Uh, you mentioned it was deflating, but at the same time, this NIT, maybe the guys have a chip on their shoulder. Maybe you have a chip on your shoulder thinking maybe should have been an NCAA team, now we're in the NIT. Do you feel that from these No, guys? winning the NIT doesn't prove you belong in the NCAA tournament. It's a different, it's different. I mean, I mean, losing in the first round of the tournament doesn't mean you didn't belong. Um, you know, it, it's, it's about doing what we have to do to continue to take steps as a program and a team and um, give the absolute best effort we can against Boston College. You know, it's, it's not about all that other stuff. It's just about playing as hard and together and as disciplined as we can possibly play. The realities of scheduling being what they are, I think a lot of what I've heard over the last you know, 12, 24 hours is teams should beat their bye games by more to help their metrics. That will help. How difficult would it be maybe to pivot the other way and get either home and homes or neutrals against quadrant ones? Yeah, you could play a tougher schedule, um, and it doesn't matter if you win. Uh, it would, you just have to have a good offense, honestly. If you schedule tougher, you have a good offense um, that's shown to be rewarded if you win a couple of those games. Yeah. Um, you know, um, and if you decide to not schedule tough, you need to really run it up to get your, your, your offensive numbers to be good. What about the, the feasibility of getting those games if, if you decided to pursue some of those? Um, you know, every program's different. What, what programs are scheduling for? Some programs are scheduling for seating, some programs are scheduling uh, for a 
bid, some programs are rebuilding. You know, it's not monolithic. Every program has to do what's best for them. All right. Thanks, guys.